Thunderbolt 5 is here, and with it comes a ton of new features. So here's five of the things we're most excited for. Thunderbolt 5's biggest and most obvious update is to speed and bandwidth. With support for up to 80 gigabits per second of bandwidth, Thunderbolt 5 doubles Thunderbolt 4's capabilities. For Thunderbolt docks, this means more and faster ports and connectivity than ever before, all without running into data constraints. Along with this, PCI Express throughput speeds are also being doubled, up to 64 gigabits per second, which means that individual high-speed devices, like external storage, also work faster than ever. Thunderbolt 5 also upgrades video capabilities with new support for DisplayPort 2.1. This allows for native support of up to dual 6K 60Hz extended monitors, or with display stream compression, up to dual 8K 60Hz. At some resolutions, refresh rates of up to 540 Hz is also supported. And what's more, Thunderbolt 5 can support up to three 4K 144 Hz extended monitors all at the same time on supported computers from a single Thunderbolt port. More and bigger monitors means more bandwidth needs. Thunderbolt 5 addresses this with the new Thunderbolt Bandwidth Boost, which can selectively activate to allow more bandwidth for monitors and other downstream connections. You can think about Thunderbolt connections like a freeway, with data being vehicles flowing in either direction. Normally, a Thunderbolt connection is symmetrical, with two lanes on either side of the freeway, two downstream lanes in one direction, and two upstream lanes in the other. In the case of Thunderbolt 5, each of these lanes supports 40 gigabits per second, allowing for up to 80 gigabits to flow in each direction every second. With enough devices connected though, it's possible to fully saturate the connection, which can cause slowdowns or traffic jams. Thunderbolt Bandwidth Boost turns on in these situations to temporarily flip the flow of one lane of traffic on the less busy side, which allows more traffic to get through to alleviate the slowdown, effectively making the Thunderbolt connection 120 gigabits per second downstream and 40 gigabits per second upstream. When no longer needed, the connection then returns to its normal symmetrical layout. Thunderbolt 5 also introduces higher charging capabilities of up to 240 watt power delivery to the host computer, which is much higher than the 100 watts that Thunderbolt 4 supported at launch. To be clear, while 240 watt charging is technically possible, realized power delivery will depend on several factors. In the case of a Thunderbolt dock, the included power supply has to be capable of delivering that 240 watts to the host computer to begin with, as well as having enough power for other ports on the dock, all of which would make for a massive power supply. Besides that, as of filming this video, most current laptops can't even utilize 240 watt USB power delivery yet. So while Thunderbolt 5 allows up to 240 watt charging, for now, you can expect most Thunderbolt docks to provision less than that in order to better manage power. Maybe the most underrated part of this revision is that older Thunderbolt 3 and 4 cables can still be used, all at the new 80 gigabit per second speeds. This is because Thunderbolt 5's update doubles the sampling rate of the data at either end of the Thunderbolt connection, which also doubles the speed. Going back to the highway example, let's say that every vehicle on the Thunderbolt Express is always a certain length away from the next vehicle in the lane at all times. The update to Thunderbolt 5 is like taking that length and having it, which effectively doubles the amount of traffic the highway can contain without any other changes. Thunderbolt 5 is the biggest update to Thunderbolt specification in generations. It's gonna pave the way for some of the most passionate and powerful peripherals we've ever seen. And from everyone at CalDigit, we can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Thanks for watching.